am in Old Town Hernan, Virginia at a beer joint that people say has the best mac and cheese burger in the area. I cannot wait to see what's up. Welcome to Sully's Poor House. here is amazing. Thanks for having me in. Thank you for coming in. Tell me a little bit about Sully. So we opened almost two years ago. This used to be an old Irish pub. After working in the industry for about 15 years or so, I decided I want to go out and venture on my own. I have a love for the restaurant industry. And so we went ahead and acquired that restaurant and then we turned it into our baby. Okay, so everyone talks about your mac and cheeseburger. What else are you guys known for? Like, what's What's the must get here? So our mac and cheeseburger is freaking phenomenal. I'll oh, find wow. out soon. <laughs> Also, our surf and turf mac and cheese steak, which is a cheese steak with American cheese, macaroni and cheese on top, and then Old Bay saute shrimp. Are we making that today? Yes, we are making that yes. today. All right, so what are we going to start with? We're going to start with the burger. All right, the mac and cheese burger? Mac and cheese burger. Let's do it. So we're going to start with our ground beef. Okay, so it was at like a 70, 30, 80, 20? An 80, 20, so just a little bit of enough fat. Got it, just enough to, to keep it nice and juicy. Make it juicy, okay. So we put salt and pepper and a little bit of secret ingredient. And then well, give me a little out. hint of that secret again. Just no. a little tip. No, no, okay. No. So then he patties it, and then we throw it on our grill. All right, so now we're doing the mac and cheese. Yep. Homemade? Homemade mac and cheese. Nice. All right, we're going to put oil in. Fresh garlic. Of course. All right, so we got the garlic smelling beautiful. We're going to add some heavy cream. Customary for mac there and cheese. There we go. Now it's cheese time. We're going to go ahead and put some cream cheese in there. Cream cheese. Cream cheese. I don't know if I've ever seen that in mac and cheese uh, before. Not a lot of people do. So Where'd you learn that? Uh, my husband. My husband is a grown child. And, and your husband, is his name really Basil? Yes. He's got to be like, an awesome cook. He's, he's like the herb, B-A-S-I-L. So he does not like all the bougie, fancy cheeses. So he doesn't like the Munster and the Gouda and the this and the that. Which would not be very Which good, I think, Which would not be good in mac and cheese. So now we're gonna go ahead and use Cheese Whiz. Cheese Whiz is really what gives it its yellow color. And then we go ahead and add good old American. All right, and that's the good stuff right this there. You guys the showed that stuff. off the block, don't yep. you? So when they first started making mac and cheese, they used to take lasagna squares yeah, and just and cut the little the, the noodles into these little pieces and just sprinkle Parmesan on it. There you go. That was the stuff. We get it all melted down. Okay. And then that's when we add our good old elbow pasta. It thickens up. And then in order to be able to make our mac and cheese patty, we have to chill it. So we got the mac and cheese. Now this so has been this, in the freezer or is, fridge? This has been in the fridge for about two hours. So we get it nice um, and cold so it can thicken up. So you're able to make patties with it. So you can okay. make patties with it. So we're going to go ahead and put some breadcrumbs. Why are you putting burger on it? Why not just a mac and cheeseburger? We could, but okay. there's no fun in that. Everyone can throw on some regular mac and cheese onto a burger. All right, so you're going gentle with it so you don't gentle, break up all yes, the dudes. Kind of exactly. like making a crab cake. There we go. Exactly. Which like I'm a pro at. Cake. So now we're going to make it into a ball. Okay. And then patting it out just like so you would a, a burger. So a big, that big. So you're trying to get me stuff. Yeah. Wait, that's going on a burger? That's going on top of a burger. Oh, man, there goes the diet. So our mac and cheese patty is maybe a little larger than our half pound burger. Okay. We're gonna Dust it in some flour so everything can hold on to it. Put in egg wash, throw it in the breadcrumbs, egg wash a second time. Okay, so it's going in the egg wash. Now some breadcrumbs. So I'm assuming everyone that's drunk out there, this everyone, is the burger? Yes, this is definitely the burger. So now it goes in the deep fryer? Now it goes in the deep fryer. And how long will that cook for? Three minutes? About three minutes. This is the burger. We're going to put two slices of American cheese on it. We're going to melt that nice. So much cheese is on this joker. Is there it's more cheese? It's cheese, it's cheese. We got the mac and cheese. We got the mac and cheese. We got American cheese. We got American cheese. It's and then we put queso dip that we make in house on top. Oh, right. so we still gotta make some queso. Yes, okay. so we need to make some queso. Let's do that. All right, so first he's gonna go ahead and add oil, garlic, 
It is very much similar to the beginning of our mac and cheese. And did you expect it to do that? Yes, okay. exactly. You know, we're pros. We know what we're doing, okay? You almost burned my hair off, man. That would have been a bad look for me. How much hair for you got in there? None. So, onions, red bell peppers, and green bell. Fresh garlic. I'm going to saute that in. Then we add a little bit of heavy cream. All right. So is that the whiz again? Yep. Oh. Cream cheese. So you're not using the, the queso blanca, the, the normal no. Mexican cheese? No, we are not. Add American cheese to it. So this burger is hard to make. You got it a lot, a lot, of, lot going on There's here, There's a man. lot definitely going on, but it's a perfection. Mac and cheese. Uh-oh, here we go. Can't see which, oh, there it is. Looks like I got two burgers on it. All right, this thing is an absolute monster. Here we go. Mm. All right, this burger's awesome. It's messy, it's meaty, it's cheesy. You take a bite of it, you get hit with that good beef. Then you get the mac and cheese layer, which is kind of like another burger in itself. And then the final, the hit of that queso, really good burger. All right, I'm with Paul from the Northern Virginia Foodies. Paul, what you're known as kind of like the burger master of the area. Yes. What burger are you working on, man? The mac and cheese burger. This burger is legit. It has queso, American cheese, fried mac and cheese in the middle, mouth-watering, drooling. Look at this bad boy right here. What do you think of the mac and cheese burger, man? It's cheesy, moist, and juicy. All right, what are we doing now? We're going to make our famous surf and turf mac and cheese. Surf and turf. Cheese steak? Cheese steak. Oh, okay. Surf and turf cheese steak. And what do we got here? Is that ribeye? That's ribeye. So our cheese steaks are fresh cut ribeyes. So you guys actually slice it in we house? We actually slice it in house. You know how rare that is? Uh, we don't like frozen stuff. The ribeye is like perfect too. It's got just enough fat in it. And when you cut it thin like that, you don't get like the fat gobs in your mouth. Exactly. Perfect. So we use eight ounces. It's a nice fat sandwich. We don't skimp here. With some salt and pepper. Keeping it to the basics. Don't want a lot of seasoning on your cheese there, that's for sure. Especially because it's a fresh cut ribeye, we're gonna let the flavors of the meat show. We're gonna top that off with some American cheese. Which I prefer over whiz on cheesesteaks. Now it's all about the roll. How's all your roll looking? Roll. Our roll is awesome. So we have a bakery that has created this amazing Okay, roll. so you get them shipped we fresh get all shipped the time. fresh Perfect. four times a week. We're gonna throw that bad boy in there. Now the fun part. So the mac and cheese. So that mac and cheese that we made earlier. Okay. Is the same mac and cheese. So I'm thinking you guys are probably gonna go real light on it, right? Yes. No. Well, my first time having mac and cheese on a cheesesteak. Pretty cool. You'll be back. And now we're gonna go ahead and add sauteed shrimp. Okay. Okay. Another Old first for me on a cheesesteak. Old Bay shrimp. A little bit of olive oil. Throw the shrimp in there. So they're starting to sizzle. Is that just Old Bay? This is just Old Bay. Just Old Bay, and okay. Oil. So after our shrimp are nice and cooked, we literally load them on. On top of our cheesesteak. This is looking better with each step. Uh, but you're just going to put like two shrimp on there? No. We don't skip. If you're going to do it, you got to do it right. Surf and turf mac and cheesesteak. Surf and turf cheesesteak. Looking bomb. Here we go. Got to make sure I get one of those shrimp in there. Mm. Cheese steak with mac and cheese, shrimp on it. So you take a bite of it. You get that, that ribeye that they sliced in house, which is always so much better than the frozen stuff. And then you get hit with that shrimp. And then you get a blast of the homemade mac and cheese. Not to mention, this is a good roll. Very rare in the Virginia area, D.C. area, to have a good roll. Really good, man. Really good. What are you working on, man? It's the uh, surf and turf cheesesteak. In the world of cheesesteaks, man, where does this one rank? Dude, it's, a, it's at the top. It's, it's cheesy, it's creamy, and they got the Old Bay seasoning on the top of the shrimp. It's, it's amazing. What's your go-to, man? It's definitely gonna be the surf and turf cheesesteak. What sets that thing off, man? The shrimp, 
the mac and cheese, the steak, the bread, you name it, it's got it. Dude, what the heck is that, man? These are the famous trash can nachos. Dude, that is huge. Are they good? They are excellent. I love everything here, including that, because it has everything in it in one plate. Amazing. And what do you normally get here? Um, I like to eat the chicken pot pie, but tonight I got the um, cheese curds, and they're amazing. They're very tasty. It's much better than mozzarella sticks. What'd you get, man? I got the grilled cheesesteak. What do you think? It's awesome. I really like it. Meat has a great flavor. Love the cheese, and these fries are awesome. Man, the chili dog is really good. It's uh, a lot. Better bring your uh, hungry pants, because you're going to be eating a big meal. Very cool place with some really unique food. Got to try the surf and turf cheesesteak. Got to try the mac and cheese burger. You must try it out. Thank you for watching the show and I'll see you soon. Peace.